Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Grixis Discard where we're going to be playing this in the ranked queues today. So doing a little bit of work to get towards the Vrassus Contempt. I, I'm at uh, Gold 4 is what we started the day at, and we just played uh, five matches with Simic Midrange first, and we went 3-2, and two, so uh, we haven't really leveled up too much yet. And so now we're moving on to Grixis Discard, do some ranked matches with it, you know, around five-ish or maybe a little more, you know, five to seven or so matches with Grixis Discard. And then we'll be playing Orzhov Angel, same thing, like five to seven matches or so there. So basically what we have here is we have a Grixis Control deck, which I call it Grixis Discard because we have so many cards that make our opponents discard mostly our curve of Thought Erasure, Disinformation Campaign, Nicol Bolas, and Angrath. But really what we're at is a, a Grixis control deck where we're trying to reduce the resources that our opponents have. That's what our, our cards are doing here. Like, you know, campaign on its own, you know, making them discard a card, you draw a card, isn't really spectacular. Nicol Bolas's trigger of just making them discard a card, again, not really spectacular. But whenever you start combining these things together, it really adds up. Whenever they have to, you know, they probably have like a card in hand where they are like, well, I can discard this one. That's fine. But then you make them discard another one. They're like, oh, the rest of my cards are kind of good. I guess I have to discard this. And then you make them discard another one. And pretty soon they're just out of cards in hand. And then once they're out of cards, you're... Cards like Bolas and Angrath are safe and can take over. So because we're playing cards like Thought Erasure and Disinformation Campaign that are affecting our opponent's hand, they're not affecting the, the battlefield, though. So like while you're spending your turn two on Thought Erasure, your opponent's spending turn two on like Merfolk Branchwalker, for example. Then you campaign on three. They're playing Jade Light on three. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that while, you're, while you are doing things to affect their hand, they are doing things that affect the battlefield and put creatures in play. And so you're going to be behind quite a bit with this deck to start with and that's why we're playing four ritual of soots it's such an important card to catch up while you're behind because we're just going to be behind even when we're casting discovery we're not affecting the battlefield so that's what we have over there so the card chain the card choices that i have in this deck are basically all with Soltai in mind with Soltai being like the the most dominant mid-range deck of the format and it's hard to it's hard to like they have so much card advantage it's really hard to have as much card advantage as they do and so the way to tack all of their cards that have so much card advantage is by making them discard them if they're discarding their jaylight rangers they don't get to um play it and explore a couple of times if you know you make them discard their vivians and their hydroid crisis so they don't get to redraw and all that kind of stuff so that's that's the goal that's why we have four campaign four thought erasure four bolus these angrass we're trying to make them discard all of those cards from their hand before they get to uh cast them and get the value from them so uh a question here do you think the new ugin could be a good fit for grixis as an answer to enchantments possibly like the six mana card it engine of it i'm not super sold on right now like six man is a whole lot but enchantments can be a huge problem you know some of the hardest cards for us to deal with in particular like guild summit experimental frenzy those are two like of the hardest cards for us to deal with because those are both enchantments that give the opponents tons of value where you know enchantments like ixlon's binding is kind of whatever like sure they you exile something but it just sits there on the battlefield just trades one for one where eventually we'll find dispersal and we'll we'll bounce the exelon's binding or whatever you know like like those kind of enchantments or whatever it's cards like guild summit and experimental frenzy that you know we don't have an answer to and then they just snowball and that's that's the whole problem is the snowballing effect of those kind of enchantments thanks dr grindel thank you so much all right so <clears throat> Uh, that's that's just kind of to describe the deck a little bit. We had some people ask for me to describe the deck a little bit. Um, so that's what we have. And let's go ahead and play some ranked matches over here with our deck. So in particular, basically those cards that I was just saying, we don't really want to see any guild summits. We don't want to see experimental frenzies. Those are uh, cards that are big problems for us to deal with. 
Yeah, and that's the thing is Ugin, ex exactly. Ugin at six mana is so expensive compared to Guild Summit that costs three, Frenzy that costs four. Really problematic there. Yeah, Nerd Rage, there's the Discord channel. Um, I added a bunch of new rooms yesterday to the Discord channel, and I'm going to continue to add to that as well. So if you want to just talk magic, if you want to talk like War of the Spark cards, or maybe you have ideas for decks, um, or you want to talk about what you're playing at FNM, talk about tournaments you're playing on the weekend, anything like that, um, you know, there's the Discord channel right there. It's free to join. Everybody can can join there. And so I basically want lands here for, for Bolas and Angrath, so I'm ditching the Lava Coil because it's not a land. Oh yeah, the new Bolas is definitely going to be an include in Grixis for sure. It's it's possible that the deck will be changing up and you know move away from campaign and all that kind of stuff. Like the metagame could be changing, but uh, new Bolas is incredibly good. So they discarded Wizard's Retort, which is a really good counter spell. So th that certainly means they have other really good counter spells in hand. So if I just play a Bolas, it's just going to get countered. So I'm taking this instant speed removal spell so I can play it at their end step and incentivize them to tap out or you know tap mana to protect their thing, and then I get to untap and land a Bolas. Yeah, if if you play against a lot of white aggro, then yes, you de you definitely want Cry of the Carnariums. I've I had Cry of the Carnariums for the longest in the sideboard, but I just haven't been playing against very much white aggro and um, got rid of the Cry of the Carnariums for other things. Oh, I would I would certainly never cut Ritual of Soot ever. Like I would just have like some cries in the sideboard also and. Yeah, I would never cut Ritual Set, never cut Disinformation Campaign. Where are we at now? Five. Hmm. Alright, so throwing away Search for his Kanta just to make sure. So now we have seven cards, so we know for sure we get to flip this as Kanta the next turn. But we don't we don't need to right now. Ritual of Sit.
<clears throat> Hopefully no trickster. Ugh. It's not really better for me. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. So we're still trading our Tempest Gem with Nicol Bolas now, and that's that's not so good, because that is our... Is it just our third or our fourth? It's our third Bolas. If I would have drawn an untapped land there... No, yeah, we couldn't have, so... We couldn't have flipped Bolas. Alright, we're down to two. But we do have the Escanta going and everything, so. That's a good draw. No fire. Right, that's good. No steel. <clears throat> Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Alright, now like where we're at. We have stabilized, we have Ascanta. It's gonna be really difficult for our opponent to win this game, honestly. It's basically gonna be about like tricksters coming in at instant speed kind of thing. Maybe. No fire, no steel. Cause yeah, now like counter magic doesn't do anything. We have stabilized. And Angrath can just finish this out by de dealing two a turn. Oh, that's a really good draw. It's just more instant speed removal. No fire, no steel. <clears throat> That'll do. So if I play all the duresses, negates, and cravings, this is a matchup where campaign's usually not so good. Usually I just cut campaign, cut discovery, uh, go with this. where I want alright so if we just go with this like do I want Ral over an Angrath I don't know I like Angrath quite a bit in this matchup no I don't think I really want Thief I've, I've played Thief in this matchup quite a bit or I've tried it but Kind of the problem with Thief is, I've had it like where, like Thief just doesn't get through, um, like Tempest Gen, Terramander, they can just outrace Thief. You know, they put like a Curious Obsession on their creature, then I just like have to block with my Thief. It just, Thief is good like when you've already won the game. It's not good at, like early on when you're trying to win the game. It doesn't help you. And then, like, <clears throat> you just usually the rich, you just usually try to ritual a set it away at some point, and doesn't help out too much. So, did my opponent just not play a land at all the first turn, or did they have us go first? I don't know what happened there.
it is an instant, but uh, Lava Coils can kill Tempest Gen, so keeping those. So basically, with my opponent at seven cards, I'm not very incentivized to cast the duress because if they because they may just have to go towards uh, <clears throat> discarding. I kind of want to play duresses first to protect. I want to play dresses first to protect, like, Bolas and uh, Angrath and those kind of cards. Alright, so they have six cards right now. Alright, I'll take one, just in case there's a Curious Obsession. I guess I'll take one. Alright, there's an Obsession. So they got Capture, Retort. Hey, DJ. We need three more permanents before we get Arch of Araska turned on. Nice, got your tax return today. Awesome. They just draw and then discard. Y'all think I should bedevil this thing? Alright. I'll bedevil it. Just draw some lands to get this Arch of Araska turned on. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a real good card. Just draw a dive down. It's annoying. So do I would I rather use the contempt or the soot? I think the contempt. Because of other dive downs. Keep the soot. Take 
get this disdainful stroke. And obviously we're going to be playing around the spell pierce. We'll let them have this war kite marauder. Hmm. Essence capture, you're annoying. Too hard to know if Mono Blue is gonna be good or not the war when war comes out. I'm I'm not sure. Alright, so I I guess I'm just gonna take the spell pierce from them. Make them spend one more mana and you know trade with the card. When we're getting cards for free off Ascanta. Trading for, you know, trading one for one, not so bad for us. And we have a new bolus. Didn't get much last set. Ter yeah, Terramander. Terramander was a huge upgrade. That's that's such a big addition they got last last set. Five five. That thing's big. Alright, so we're at twelve. But we got this as Kanta going. We got Bolus. So three, six, seven. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so we're gonna just attack them with the bolus. We had the mana to be able to make sure that they didn't have like a dive down or something. With that thought erasure, flip this bolus, uh, kill this thing. You shall taste real pain. And this game is over. My genius is unmatched. Take their card, play new bolus. All right, one to know with Grixis discard. Overall, that's that's a pretty good matchup for us. That's one that I would like to be playing more. Yeah, bolus is the strongest planeswalker in. Standard, like the flipped bolus, but probably the the new bolus is probably the best one. Because I think the new bolus is going to be better than Teferi is. Like the the thing that will hold new bolus back is the casting cost. But just like if you just think five mana for both of them, I think bolus is stronger than Teferi. But the problem is the casting cost. <laughs> because instead of untapping two lands you have your opponent has to exile a card from their hand or in play and that is pretty nuts that adds up like that is especially when you're if you're playing like a, a lot of cards you know like that works well with discard spells and disinformation campaign and things like that if you're playing cards to reduce the resources the opponent has 
and then when you play your planeswalker tick up you get to draw a card plus they have to exile something you know it's it's just a disinformation campaign every turn all right we got soul tie it's a tough one Want to draw Ritual of Sets. That's why we got four in the deck. Because this is a, a matchup where we really, really need our Ritual of Sets. Because we can attack their hand, but they get ahead on the battlefield. And that's how we need we need the card advantage. There. Um, coil or Erasure? Could coil that Llanowar Elf. But they could just draw another green land, of course, so I'm just gonna coil this Wild Growth Walker and be safe. And then next turn we'll probably coil Jade Light. No, we'll see if we, if we coil Elf or Jade Light after this and then play as Kanta. Definitely getting as Kanta in play. I think I'm going to coil the elf. Make sure no Vivian next turn. Alright, let's find Ritual of Sit. So we have a Contempt for a Hostage Taker, if they have that, uh, if they have like their own Contempt, you know, then oh well. Worst case, of course, is a Vivian here, that's definitely worst case. Besides Ritual of Soot, I would have liked to find Disinformation Campaigns, because I usually like to play those first to try to get rid of their hand before playing Bolas. I don't really like playing Bolas this early. So no Vivian over there. Um Yeah, let's just let's just go ahead and discovery. And we can uh, fill the graveyard to be able to flip this as Kanta. There we go. Worked out. Now his Kanta's gonna be flipping. So transforming Bolas. This my knowledge is endless. Intellibeam with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome back, Intellibeam. Ten months, almost a year. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Not much. We are on our road to getting a Contempt. 
or starting it at least, you know, playing some ranked matches tonight. I know what must be done. So I'm not going to let my opponent know that they're, all their creatures are about to die. Before I make them discard. Make them discard first. This is why we play all these ritual sets. This is what we're trying to do. Just get rid of their resources. Alright, so... We need to find Discovery. I always have an answer. Let's activate this thing. There it is. Found it. See you, Carnage Tyrant. If we didn't find it, we were just going to be playing Angrath and ticking up. You know, like our opponent was at 8 there. So, like, ticking up Angrath. Like, they have to attack Bolas because Bolas is about to... Um, Bolas is about to ultimate... And, you know, Angrath puts them down to six, and and then, you know, our Bolas gets to draw more cards the next turn, and we activate as Kanta again. Like, it, they're in a tough spot. So I want the Ral and the Reborn with them playing Carney T, and I want no Duress, and... I mean, I kind of want the rest of these. Maybe I don't actually want the Ral. Maybe just, we'll just take the Reborn. Um, because usually I would bring in Ral, and that's it. Usually I would just cut to rest, bring in Ral. Call it a day. But with them having Carnage Tyrant, I kind of want this Eldritch Reborn now. Oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't update Stream Decker. Thank you. My bad, I forgot to do that. Um, all right, we'll just do that. Where are you at, Grixis Discard? There you are. Would certainly not keep this on the play. I kind of want to keep this on the draw. I kind of want to keep this on the draw. Mukton, things are going really good. Mukton, things are going really good. What's up? There we go. I have to go over here. I have to like open up a new window to be able to do that part. Okay. Now deckless command should be updated. <sighs> the danger noodle. Uh, another question, what's the worst matchup for this deck? I don't know if there's any particular like really bad matchup but there are really bad individual cards a card like Carnage Tyrant um, Experimental Frenzy, Guild Summit hmm
That made that a little easier when I noticed they had Forest Forest. But I was I was planning on taking the Jade Light, but then I was like, what am I gonna do about this thief? And then I looked over and they had Forest Forest. Because I thought they had like I thought they had like blue green land. And so they could at least just draw a black mana source, but No, most enchantments don't... Most enchantments aren't really an, a big deal. It's the enchantments that uh, gain a lot of value. You know, that's why I said, like, Guild Summit, Experimental Frenzy. Those are those are the problems, because your deck... The, the style of deck we have is a deck that tries to deny resources from, like, from the opponent's side. So... Encha you know, so enchantments are problematic, but the big problems are the enchantments that increase the opponent's resources, which is what Frenzy and Guild Summit do, and so that's why those are really the big problems. Mono Red's not a good matchup, no. But it's not so bad as long as they don't have Frenzy. Frenzy is the, the real killer. So you have a lot of cards that can just trade. Do I want to use the soot right now or wait? I think I wait. I think it's kind of a little too early just to use a ritual of soot there. Let's see. Draw. It's definitely fire. the card I did not want to see. My opponent having five basic forests. Isn't that a lot of basic forests? Surely feels like a lot of basic forests. So putting that, uh, putting that lava coil again. over there, so that we could flip the Escanta, because we had six cards in the graveyard. So with Bolus, with Bolus dying, it was six. So I had to ditch the coil in order to flip Escanta. Ow. Well then. Tyrant ramps things up. Find Finality is their worst card in hand. Here be your crew for my freedom. And yes, of course, now I'm I'm certainly regretting not casting the Ritual of Set two turns ago. It turned out that their next two plays were Vivian and then Carnage Tyrant, and they didn't have any more smaller creatures to play. Need to land there. No fire, no steel. Our answers for Carnage Tyrant are Dispersal and Eldest Reborn. But now I, I don't have the mana to be able to ask Kanta and be able to play a Dispersal or Eldest Reborn. So I do not have an I do not have an out here. So if I would have just been able to save the 8 life, if I would have just ritual so it and not been greedy and just used it as a 1 for 1 removal spell. But I was too greedy there. Yeah, I could have saved 8 life. So that could have been a really important 8 life. how our hand looked at the beginning of the game, I did not think that we were going to be uh, close to winning that one. Certainly keeping the Dragon Skull Summit. It's, do I want the other Lava Coil? I think so. Just keep them both. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, it didn't quite get us there, though, Burly Man. Yeah, Lava Coil is really good in this matchup because Exiles um, makes their fine finality not do anything. I uh, gotta, gotta get those things exiled. That's a really good draw step. Yep, I do like Crixus discard. Yep, and this is definitely a popular deck on the screen as well. I would have had that land right about now. Come on, draw land. Ugh. So just please no Vivian. Please no Vivian. Yeah, it's a really good card. Stop. I got black. Um, I just pick out decks I want to play that day, basically. I try not to play... Man, I need to keep this Contempt for a Vivian. But... Dang. Really, really wanted the land drop. Here, really wanted to play Disinformation Campaign. Did not find it. Please don't have Vivian. It's kind of surprising their opponent ditched the Overgrown Tomb if they missed a land drop last turn. Yay, no Vivian. Alright, I will keep this in case of a Vivian. No. No, they, I mean, they just don't have Vivian, so let's ditch it. Let's build towards finding Eldest Reborn. Oh my gosh. There's just no lands in this deck. There's a land. It's basically the only thing that's... Like, if they don't have Vivian, the only thing that's killing us is, is a Carnage Tyrant, right? Like, that's... That's what they got to be sitting on is waiting for Carnage Tyrant. Or they have Krasis and all that kind of stuff. those cards. Um, I guess I want the Angrath right now. Then I'm going to have to go to discard. Wait, so if I, if I just play Angrath this turn, I'll have to discard two cards. So I guess I'm not going to play Angrath this turn. I have 26 lands in this deck. I think I have enough lands. It just has seemed like that. No. 
I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. All right, so we're going to contempt that. And hope, hope we draw our land so we can contempt and play Angrath and start ticking up, going after the hand with Angrath. If not, I think I'm going to just play a Bolas after the contempt. Well, if they minus Vivian... Okay. Balance comes. So yeah, definitely contempt. If they... Huh. Do they have Disdainful Stroke? That'd be mean. Okay, I don't think they have Disdainful Stroke. That resolved pretty quickly. Not bad for a mouse. See, that's the best best place to attack Sultai is attack their hand. They they always have infinite cards. Attack their hand. All right. Well, this one. This one looks to be over. This one looks really good for us. Upkeeping the contempt. I don't know. It's a little greedy. I guess. I thought. I. I guess I didn't really look. I just assumed they had two blue mana by now. I thought they could just. Um, yeah, I, I thought that they were. Like, if we wait, like they could maybe have Frilled Mystic as well. But now they can't even have Frilled Mystic either, so. All right, let's just get this hand taken out. Well, there goes Angrath. It's okay, Angrath, you died a hero. Just your crew for more planeswalkers. <laughs> A fair price. All right, long drawn out match, and we are now in gold tier three. Rank up. Limitless. And Grix is discard 2 0 in ranked matches. <clears throat> so if you if you didn't notice, if you didn't uh, check out the YouTube channel in the last little bit. That's my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash totsdmsmtg. You notice Yud made some new uh, thumbnails. And you notice the Simic midrange that we just played a little bit ago is the first thumbnail of using a new, a new thumbnail over there. Um... Depending on the, the different matchup. Hey, Chris. Thank you so much for that resub there. Uh, planning on playing like, I don't know, five to eight matches or so with, with these decks. What's the best anti aggro deck? Is a question. Um, just playing an angel deck. Uh, definitely in an angel deck. Maybe Selesnia Angels. 
or Mono White, or Orzov. I don't know. One of the Angel decks. Those are really good. I, th I think if I was on the play, I think I'd keep this. But on the draw, it's a little tough. All right, this looks better. Yeah, Esper Acuity. That that that's a good one too. Yeah, definitely. Esper Acuity is a good one. Melody, Manipulation, and Ooze. Yud made that thumbnail. Perfect. That was the card I wanted. And we can just kind of sit back and wait. I mean, I do want more land drops, but... I also I want this as Kanta to flip as well. I'll just take I'll take this land. So yeah, we can just disinformation campaign our opponent out of cards before we play things for them to steal. Get out of here, Lanwerlf. Make it harder for them to cast stuff. Wake me up when I sleep again. So this is like Ali's deck, right? That just like wants to steal a bunch of things. So it's just like Hydroid Crisis, the Steel stuff, Biogenic Oozes. Oh, right. If, if Ascanta just had the keyword Surveil, man, yeah, Disinformation Campaign would be busted if Search for Ascanta just had Surveil. So do I do I actually change anything? Do I need all this removal? Do I want more duresses and negates? I don't I don't really know what they're gonna be doing post sideboard. They're just gonna have a lot of counter magic. Like, what other threat besides Biogenic Ooze do I need to be scared of? Like, Biogenic Ooze and Krasis, right? Like, that's kind of it? Hmm. I guess they're going to have Vivian's also, but... I'm gonna try a little bit of a little bit of counter magic duress, and I'm gonna try going on the thief plan, and just seeing how this works. Thief can be stolen, but the thing is, is I 
I can definitely envision my opponent having a lot less of those steel effects after that game one. Like, I, I imagine them taking out a good amount of, um, like, melodies and mass manipulations and things like that for after how that uh, last game went. I shouldn't have played the Escanta right away. That was my bad. I should have played Disco I should have led with Discovery. Never mind. So I was scared of Vivian there. I wanted to dress. Let's see if there's a Vivian. I didn't duress previously because I wanted to, I wanted to wait a little bit and, and let my opponent draw some more cards and see if we could duress to protect something, see if we could double double spell on the same turn. Kind of like this turn right now. All right, no counter spell. That's good. Need more lands. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Three and zero. Oh. Turns out that having a bunch of spells where you need your opponent to play creatures to steal them, not good against the deck that just wants to rip your part. <laughs> like playing spells that require your opponent to do things, not good against whenever your opponent's just ripping apart your hand because they just have to stay in your hand until your opponent does something, so they get ripped apart. All right, so got the Thought Erasure right away. That's good. Playing against Gates, not good. Because they have the the one card in particular that we can't deal with that gives them too much advantage, Guild Summit. All right, no Guild Summit here. That's good. So that's good for us. No Guild Summit. I've not drawn any land, so one of those other two cards could be a guild summit. Come on, Bolus. Nope. Or Angrath. Ooh, that'd be a perfect time for an Angrath next turn. Perfect time for an Angrath here. Ooh, 
I mean, even though we're looking... <laughs> yes, this is life. Um... Even though we're looking okay here with, like, them missing these land drops, we're still not honestly doing that great. And, yeah, Guild Summit. Yeah, this is really bad now. We need Angrath. Ugh. And it's not Angrath. And dispersing the Guild Summit when they have so many cards in hand doesn't help us out too much. There's Angrath. Alright, good. Angrath, good. Do I want this other removal spell, too? I should probably keep that removal spell. And this allows... Keeping the removal spell allows me to keep the Angrath on top of the library, where if they have a Thought Erasure, which we've seen them have Thought Erasure in their deck, if they have a Thought Erasure this turn, they cannot take my Angrath. I don't have another Guild Summit. Uh. <sighs> Alright, Baldu, have a wonderful night. Oh, you're still staying up? Nice. Opinion on Elder Spell? Looks pretty cool. I, did, I don't think it's going to, like... I'm skeptical it's going to have a huge impact on Standard. Um, you know, because it is, it is pretty narrow. While it's no very... While it, no while it destroys Planeswalkers very, very efficiently, that is all it does, and... It does put it, an incentive on people to not play just a ton of Planeswalkers. Which is kind of bad for me. I like playing a ton of Planeswalkers. Um, I, I don't think I'm winning this with the Double Guild Summit. <laughs> it's, like, so, yeah... I've already talked about this quite a bit during this league, but enchantments are really not a big deal. The big deal are enchantments that snowball and gain tons of advantage over time. That's the problem, are those kind of enchantments. And so Guild Summit and Experimental Frenzy are the two that are the problem. There aren't really other ones that are problems. I guess Dawn of Hope would be another one, but people don't really play Dawn of Hope. So that'd be another one like that. No fire, no steel. Get that exiled. Thought Erasure is a stronger card than Dovin's Veto. Okay. That was definitely a really good card for us to draw. Your 
your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Really hope our opponent bricks here. Obviously, our Angrath is going to die. Let me flip this bolus. Let me fi Make flip the bolus, please. For high and dry. Hooray! So we have two options after transforming bolus here. We can either uh, get their gate colossus to be able to block this gate colossus, Witness or I can just simply liberty. kill this gate colossus. Those are our two options. Um. Like, either way, so it's just better just to kill this one, because if they if they draw a gate, they're just going to have that 8-8 attack my bolus, and then I block, and then both of their gate classes go to their graveyard anyway, and then they just pick up. And so they just pick up their uh, gate colossus like that. So it's just better to use three loyalty instead of four. Gilgate. That thing wasn't triggering at first, and so I was like, wait, is that... So I have two more Contempts in here. Uh, well, that's over. Death means nothing to me. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. We tried really hard to be Guild Summit. We tried. Guild Summit's really tough, though. No, I, I found the dispersal after... Or I found Discovery when I did not have five mana left. So I, I didn't have time to dispersal yet. I, like, if they would have bricked again, I would have dispersaled the next turn to get rid of a, one Guild Summit. But when I drew it, I didn't have five mana left. Yes, we could have technically drawn something to kill the Angrath and maybe drawn something to kill Bolas, you know, drawn something to kill those two, but we're not dealing with the two guilds. Um, or we're not dealing with the... We don't have... We don't. We didn't have enough to... Like, we didn't have anything yet, but we could not deal with Nicol Bolas and Angrath and the 8-8 they had in hand and the 8-8 that they were drawing the next turn. We're not dealing with all that kind of stuff. Hey Thraxel Wolf, welcome back. Thank you so much for that 
sub there. I really do appreciate that. Oh, I had, I was definitely looking at the time. I had plenty of time left. I was I was just gonna end up going back and cutting the the duresses there. Keeping soot in because it actually kills ram. We don't have like a lot of ways to kill ram. And that is something that does. Lava coil does not kill ram. Lava coil is my worst card in this matchup. I don't even, I don't even know why I'm keeping this hand. I mean this this match is just over now. Please don't find Guild Summit this time, or a second Guild Summit. Hey, Zephyrs. Yeah, that timer ended early. That was unfortunate. We have definitely drawn really well, drawing three campaigns. Can't complain about that. At least two lava coils can take out a Colossus for good. Please don't. Well, yeah, if they had Guild Summit, they wouldn't have just played that Guild Gate there. Definitely feels like Negate here. Not Negate. I guess Growth Spiral, then. And Coil can kill a Bolus if they have a Bolus. cards out of their hand. I don't know if I'm dis discarding too much removal here, like getting rid of the Bedevil. Uh, this could be getting rid of too much removal. Okay. No negate, that's good. It's 
They just want to play 8-8s and nothing else. Elvis Reborn. Alright, so we're going to take a hit for three here. We can... Uh, double coil. Then have three mana. Why'd I get rid of that land? I wish I would've got rid of a campaign right about now, kept this bedevil. So we're down to five. It's this last card. Nine to gate. That was good timing. <laughs> Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Good timing to take the. or to use the bolus first. Okay. We have stabilized. Play a bunch of negates. Get rid of these coils. Um, they had Elvish Reborn also. I mean, the two coils do team up for to kill an 8-8. Like we did that last game, which is pretty nice for Ritual, so it doesn't. It does exile. Let's try this. I want, actually, I want three, three negate two dress. Yeah, Coil does a good job killing Bolas. Or probably a Hydroid Crisis also. I definitely need to make sure we actually submit a sideboard this time. But we, we drew incredibly well that game. See if it happens again. But y'all saw how good disinformation campaign was because those campaigns just got rid of all of my opponents like really good cards you know like we made them discard like a bolus and an elder tree born and also all sorts of stuff campaign is just so good in these slower matches it really takes over so 
So I took out the fourth ritual set for this row. Nah, yeah, that's definitely the campaign. It's an easy choice there. Campaign is the card that's been the only card that's been keeping us in these games. Uh, they have a lot of answers to, to Planeswalkers and stuff, and the Rao can't really mine us and kill anything. Because, yeah, campaign, they're already discarding Bolas. That card is good. Alright, so I have to use a Contempt on this ram. If this was... This might have been better as Soot. You know, if this was a Ritual of Soot, we would have been able to kill that ram, save a Contempt for an 8-8. So it's looking a lot better than this row. Alright, looking for more contempts. Nope, nope. Alright, Yud. Good luck. Figure out what I'm gonna do about this gate colossus yet. I have two instants right now, instants and sorceries <clears throat> in the graveyard right now. All right, well, we got an answer to the ram. Yeah, so we can. A fair price. We can dispersal this Gate Colossus next turn. So I'm gonna hold on. I'm not gonna cast Discovery. I'm gonna hold on to it. I I probably shouldn't have flipped Escanta there because we just don't need that extra mana. But it does mean that if they ha draw like some kind of enchantment removal spell, they're not killing the Escanta. I only have two permanent ways to remove the Gate Colossus in my deck, so, like, casting Discovery to try to look for one of those two is just not very likely, you know, two out of 40. Ugh. Come on. Oh, oh my gosh, that was such a good card to draw. Ugh. No fire, no steel. Wow, what a card. likely dead then if they're discarding the gate colossus this is likely a mass manipulation oh they don't have the they don't have the four blue for mass manipulation i was gonna say they probably have mass manipulation to just steal the angrath and kill us but maybe they just have a bane fire or something dumb like that No 
No fire, no steel. One, two, three. All right, well, I think we have to find Ritual of Soot. It's probably about all I got right now. Let's look for Ritual of Soot. This stupid Ral not being a Ritual of Soot. So that certainly costs us this game. Having a Ral, not a Ritual of Soot. Uh, Ral. But honestly, I thought I th thought we could I thought we could, we could stabilize them drawing that crisis when they did there was backbreaking. But I thought we were going to be able to stabilize. No, the game didn't miss, make me misclick. I decided to take out the fourth ritual of soot for you know and just play three soots and one Ral, but. You know, then that Ral was just a dead card and we needed Soot. <clears throat> oh well, next game. I thought we were we did have stabilized though. When our opponent had no cards in hand, they had nothing but the eight eight. We had like the dispersal in hand that could deal with the eight eight, and we had the Angrath on the battlefield that, you know, could make them could get rid of like the card in hand uh, that they had. I thought we had stabilized there, uh, but them drawing Krasis meant they got to refill their hand, and then therefore our dispersal wasn't turned on anymore, and they had the body. It was it was a really good good draw. Hey, Yagmasville, good games there. Good games. I was lamenting the fact that I decided to take out my fourth Ritual of Soot for that Ral, and, <laughs> you know, that Ral you saw, and, and then I didn't have the Ritual of Soot to, like, I didn't have the Soot to kill the the Ram, which that's where we would have used it is earlier to kill the Ram, so that we could have had Contempt for the 8-8. And that Ral was just sitting there not doing anything. But yeah, definitely really good games. Uh, gates can be tough for me, for sure. All three games, though, were good. Like, those those were really good games. All three of those were real close and, and everything. We're bringing Ral against mid-range and control decks that should... games that should go long, that we want the extra card advantage threat. No, Tariq. Uh, Yogmosville was our, the Gates player a little bit ago. He's up there. So this is Sultai. Uh, we were pretty fortunate there with the campaigns. We've been... This league, even the, just all these games, because all three games against uh, Phil there, the last one, we were real fortunate to have a bunch of campaigns. And so when our deck is is at its best is whenever we get to have turn three campaign. Uh, that's really whenever our deck gets rolling. So hope, hope we get to have some more campaigns here. All right, we'll take this. Draw red mana, please. Red mana is what I'd like to draw. Not a red card. Rakdos, what are you doing? I said red mana, not a red card. Oh, yeah, this deck definitely is going to gain stuff, Salty Ninja. I mean, the new Nicol Bolas is incredibly good and the new nickel bolus would be like a four of automatically right now the thing is is the deck 
the deck may change quite a bit depending on what happens with the metagame. Um, because depending on like what what other popular cards are being played, you know, when, when you're playing in a reactive deck like this, you need to shape your deck based on what other people are playing. Yeah, that, that bolus is definitely a four of. Yeah, it, it could certainly flip the whole archetype and, you know, it'll be one one thing, but, I mean, it's just, it's the Grixis Teferi, you know, it's, it's a card that's definitely a four of. Why are they throwing out this Jade Light here whenever they know about this Ritual of Set that I'm playing next turn? Was their last card Duress to take the set? Well, I, you probably just don't play Angrath. I mean, you, Angrath may not be a card to play. Anymore. Volus is just a lot better than Angrath. So if you're playing four Bolas, you probably just don't have room for Angrath anymore. What else you got over there? Crisis. <laughs> Thanks, McCree. Yeah, we're playing some ranked right now to... Uh, Need to at least rank up to play some, or to get the Brassus Contempts. Yeah, I gotta get those Brass, those fancy Brassus Contempts. You're just fuel for the fu no fire, no steam. And we're halfway through the month, and I haven't played any ranked yet, so gotta start. Yeah, McCree got that number one at bit spot. Uh, you need diamond ranked to get this to get the 3d art for contempt uh, you know like these these arts uh, gold rank gets you no fire no steel gold rank gets you wizards lightning and platinum. Two, three, four, five. Should I keep this arch? Roman! Taking that top spot. Thank you so much, Roman. So we have five, six. This would be permanent number seven. Next turn would be permanent number eight. I'll just I'm just gonna get rid of it. Yes, this is drive by Incubus. That worked out better. Lich, uh, maybe try Orzhov Angels. That's the one that we're going to play up next. I think Orzhov Angels is really strong too. I'm playing these three decks today. Simic Midrange, Grixis Discard, and Orzhov Angels. Um, but I... Yeah. So you can maybe... Just keep watching, and uh, you know we'll be playing the Orzhov Angels after this, and you can see if you like that deck. Um, I don't know exactly what where the link is to see where the arena rewards are. Somebody else may have that. I don't. I don't know where it is. What? Meow. All right, we're four and one. This will probably be our last match with uh, Grixis Discard. Then we'll move on over to move on over to Orzhov Angels. Maybe it's seven forty-one. Maybe we'll play another one. Yeah, actually, we'll probably play one more.
All right, Bolton the bird. Our win rate versus red isn't real high. This deck. I wouldn't say our win rate, win rate versus red is real high, but it's certainly a lot better when our opponent doesn't draw Experimental Frenzy. It's a lot better. Is this like Nexus with Llanowar Elf? I can see that. Biogenic ooze, huh? So not flipping Ascanta here because I want to be able to do the the whole explore thing again here. If they have like an enchantment removal spell for Ascanta this turn, that would be really bad for me though. Oh, I can't double spell. I don't have enough black to cast Bedevil and Thought Erasure anyway. But oh well, I'm going to Thought Erasure first. Melody, Insight, Growth Spiral. Is this the same deck we played against earlier? Looks like it. How many lands have we put in over here? Has it been a ton? It's been two, only two lands over there. So we've only seen six lands. So there's 20 more lands out of the 41 cards. So we should be drawing a bunch of lands right about now. Sway, Sway with the donation. Thank you so much, Sway. Main deck and sideboard help, please. Almost mythic and need help with the board. If you like the deck enough for a donation deck, let me know. All right, cool. All right, we'll do that after we get done playing uh, Grixis Discard and and you know stop the YouTube video and stuff. Ah, I can tell you though that I do not like the deck enough for a donation deck because it has realness reclamation in it. But that doesn't mean that I can't help with anything. So I want to find disinformation campaigns. That's like kind of the thing is that I want to be doing here is just like camp disinformation campaigning a bunch. There we go. Yep, because they're just going to try to steal my stuff, so playing stuff doesn't make a lot of sense. Right, it's Wizard's Lightning for gold and Vrass's Contempt for platinum. Correct. Correct. 
You think the board wants a mortal sun? I'm not so sure there. Gosh, these counselors' insights give you so many cards. So many cards. So we're gonna have to start playing disinformation campaigns, get all those cards back. Don't you have like planeswalkers in your deck? You just have two Teferi? Like, why do you not have more Teferis? You, you know you can play four Teferis, right? Why are, you, why are you stopping at two? Teferi's gotta be better than some of the sideboard cards that you're playing. I don't think they just... They just didn't put it in a land for, off Gross Spiral, right? So they have six spells over there. Don't want Angrath, of course, because the Mass Manipulation would steal it. Wow, they're being really... I was really patient on the... <clears throat> not... Countering the campaign. I meant for the other two for the sideboard. Like, I... I think you'd rather have, if you want a Immortal Sun, you should probably have Teferi instead. That's what I meant, like the other ones in the sideboard. But, I don't know, we'll talk, we'll talk about it here after, after Grixis. Okay, so another crisis. So they're down to 22 cards in library. Eight right now. Ah, bone. Uh, I guess I'll take that thing. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? Rid of this. Just using contempt because it costs more mana, and I, c I can only single spell this turn anyway. I've seen. We can get a cyborg guy for the Orzhov Angels like deck. You. Yeah, that's. So that's all the Sinister Sabotages, right? Cyborg Guides are something you can donate for. 
Uh, there's information about that in the in the long donation panel. But yeah, that's something I can certainly make. I'll be back. All right, so what have we gotten Just rid like of? Before. So two Vivians are gone. And only two Krasis. They likely have more than one mass manipulation, right? So I only have one Thought Erasure left as far as a Surveil card. Oh, you're okay. I'm doing a good job just keeping all these lands in hand. A close game here. We do have two mass manipulations. Um, just keeping keeping the card in my deck. Yeah, I, I can win this. Yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, I think I got this. Hey, what's up, Tree Fitty? Thanks for that resub. Make them discard it. Let's first clean these things up. No fire, no steel. So I can't really draw more cards.
Because right now they deck before I do. We have the exact same number of cards in library. Ah, I'll have you in chains next time. No fire, no steel. So we should have this. Should be good here. So they discard one of these. Ah, uh, it's lagging. I'm gonna have to reset arena. Uh, look how bad that's lagging. Ugh. Yeah, we got that game. We got that one, okay. I don't know, do I have room for all these Thiefus Handies? All right, going to game number two. Grab the new set. Yeah, the new set doesn't come out yet. Um, it comes out on the 25th. I could see Bolas being in Game of Thrones this season. I could see it. We have a slow hand here, of course, but I don't think that's really necessarily a problem against our opponent's deck. No land drops. Pass turn. Ooh, no land drops? Ooh, Hawkeye, what if they don't have any land drops? So, Mass, I think I have enough. I have lots and lots of wild cards saved up, and I have a lot of gold saved up for packs. So, I think I have enough between the gold I have saved up for packs and my wild cards where I can just buy packs and use wild cards to get the cards we need for uh, War of the Spark. I'm debating still on doing the, the 50 pack bundle, mostly so I get the, the Liliana 3D thing also. Um, haven't decided on that one yet. And no land drop, okay. All right, so we're just gonna pass. See if they go to discard here. Not don't want that. Don't want to like play something into sinister sabotage. Let them su surveil. Yeah, just let them just go to discard. Go ahead, just go to discard, opponent. We'll just keep playing our lands over here. Don't mind us.
We're getting like free discard spells here. Wait. Soul Diviner. As the Eternal's cold fingers tightened around his throat, Domri realized what kind of master he had rushed to serve. Man. Poor Domri. Let's tear this place apart. Let's do this I should let again. them finish with the tick up first. You can't stop nature. Seen water burn? Go, Angrath, go. Will. Just gotta hope they don't find mass manipulation. No fire, no steel. I'm gonna wait a turn for the slaughter erasure. I'm gonna wait, let them do this chemistry's insight first. I don't really need to take a disdainful stroke or a crushing canopy. Just gotta hope they don't find mass manipulation. No fire, no steel. Yeah, set review on Friday is going to be like the same same time as normal. Wild animals I like. I'll be doing it from 3 People, to 10 Eastern. Not so much. Uh, you know, normal stream time. You know. We'll just be going through all the cards. Uh, one card short. No fire, no steel. Do they have another? Uh, they had two disdainful strokes? Come on. Oh well, as long as as long as there's no mass manipulation shield. here, well, Krasis can gain them life. All right, that's good. That's good. Angrathult can uh, would deal 13 damage to the opponent. They're at 12. Um, they could have they could have survived it though, right? Oh no, because they have to discard a card to to turn on Chemster's Insights, because like, well, they could just exile the Chemster's Insight from the graveyard, but they have to discard a card for that. So. All right, we went five and one with Grixis Discard. Um, yeah, gonna restart the client here. I think, so 806, I think we'll just go ahead and move over to the next deck also. So we're gonna play some Orzhov Angels here in a little bit. So yeah, the deck the deck played really well. Uh, this is just, you know, uh, yeah, a deck that I really like a lot. What really was working for us is we did a, a great job of drawing disinformation campaigns quite a bit. And uh, those were really good. Both, you know, we played Sultai twice, uh, like regular Sultai, won both of those and off the back of disinformation campaigns for sure. 
but then, yeah, I guess there's that new blue-green deck that's trying to steal all your stuff. That one, we have a pretty good matchup there, it looked like. Uh, played against that deck twice. Um, won all four of those games. And, again, just, you know, discarding their hand. It's We can just sit back and wait. We don't have to, like, play our, our threats early, which makes it really good for us. Um, so... There we go. That's Grixis Discard. Good run for it. And, you know, we'll be back with it later on as well. <clears throat> yeah, it just it just kind of gets mirrored there. It's It could be better. It could have been better for, like, finishing out the full art, but oh well. All right, so that's Grixis Discard. <laughs> so if you're watching this video later on, Hawkeye, you can get your cat butt off the screen. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next